Are you thinking about getting your real estate license or in the process of getting it? Well, stay tuned in this video because I'm going to give you five tips on things you need to do before you get that license. Tip number one, tell everyone you know, your family members, your friends, your hairdresser. The reason why you are going to tell everybody that you're in the process of getting your real estate license is you want to get the word out there before you actually complete your license. You're building your sphere of influence. You want everybody to know what you're doing so that if they are ready to sell, buy or invest, you're the number one person that they're going to call. Tip number two, start reading books. I know. You're thinking, okay, I'm already studying, I'm reading books as is, now you want me to read more books? No, this is gonna benefit you. What I did was use the Audible books. They're so much more helpful that you can be driving, you can be doing chores around the house and still listening and learning at the same time. So some books that helped me through this process were books that were focusing on helping me learn about the sales aspect, helping me learn about how to communicate better. So some of the books that I found useful were Ninja Selling, Ryan Serhant, and How to Win Friends and Influence People. I also read books that helped me with mindset and motivation. I found the book from Ed Milet to be super helpful to get my mind prepared for what it was going to be like entering into a career of entrepreneurship. Tip number three, researching brokerages. Now, you might think that this is something that you're going to wait to do after you get your license. No, that's a waste of time. Do your research now in terms of finding out which brokerage would be best suited for you so that you're ready to enter into the field right away and don't have to waste any time doing interviews after the fact. It'll just better prepare you to get started in the industry ASAP. So some of the questions that you might want to ask these brokerages are commission splits, training, mentorship, teams, whether you want to go team or solo. So those are just some of the few tips that you're going to want to look further into when searching for the right brokerage. Now let's move into tip number four. You want to start building your social media. I know you're probably thinking, well, I already have these accounts in place. What do I need to build? Well, although you have your personal accounts, you might want to start building your business accounts because you may not want those two to intertwine. So you're going to want to create multiple platforms, meaning Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff is going to take time. So you're going to want to start that process now so that you're going to be ready for when you actually have your license in place. Tip number five, finances. What I mean by finances is you want to plan ahead. You want to have money set aside to be able to take care of your needs because you will not probably be making money right away. There's going to be a lot of expenses that you're going to incur when starting up your business. So you're just going to want to be prepared to have funds in place that will keep you afloat until you start making the big bucks. I hope these five tips will help you in your journey to becoming the best real estate agent you can be. Comment down below. I would love to hear what tips you guys have for what you're doing prior to getting your license. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.